What is happening guys? My name is Mike. I want to welcome you back to my channel, Modern Man TV. I was going to have a very different video up for you right around this time, but I decided it wasn't quite up to the quality that I wanted. Basically, I got a new mic. I've been upgrading my audio as well as my lighting. And this microphone has been a little bit tough to learn. So some of you noticed a little bit of a change in my audio quality. That's why I'm still kind of learning how to use the mic and how to properly set it up with my camera. Here's an update on Finn. He's huge now. Yeah. <laughs> so today's video is gonna be all about my latest go-to hairstyles and a little bit of an update on the stuff that I've been using regularly since I get asked all the time what shampoos I'm using, what pre-stylers I'm using, stuff like that. So I'm gonna give you guys a look at the stuff I'm using and then we're gonna jump into the hairstyle, show you guys what I've been doing. Let's get to it. So lately I've been asked a ton about shampoos and if I'm still using Pure Dior. Well, the answer is yes. I am still using the Pure Dior shampoo and conditioner a couple of times a week. I have added a new shampoo into the mix that I use about one day a week and that is the O'Dowd's Handmade Shampoo. This has a ton of healthy ingredients that give a light cleanse and leaves my hair feeling moisturized and rejuvenated. Next, let's talk about aftercare. I plan to expand my horizons very soon and explore a lot of different hair tonics, but for right now, I'm still using the Pure Dior Argan Oil after every wash. Beyond that, I like to sometimes use the Ruzel Grooming Tonic that I've covered in a previous video, or like in this case, when I'm going to use a wax pre-styler, I'll use the Smoothing Serum from Paul Mitchell. I actually first learned about this product on the Bloomon channel, and what it does for me is it helps tame my hair a little bit without making it too oily. It really sets me up for my next step, which is pre-styling. When I do pre-style, I have generally been using Original by Bloomon or the new Original Smooth. I pretty much get more volume with Smooth, so that's what I'm using today. Now it's time to blow dry. I start out on high heat and that's perfectly safe because the argan oil I used acts as a heat protector among its other benefits. I also use my comb with the blow dryer to try and straighten out a slight wave I have on my left side. Now my hair is dry but I'm actually going to use my blow dryer on the cool setting and give it a few more passes to close the hair follicles opened up by the heat and help seal in the style. When my hair is at this length, it naturally wants to go into kind of a high part. So much so, in fact, that I can just kind of shake my head around a little bit and it just falls into place. And lately I've just been using that to my advantage in styling. There's a lot of things I've been using lately as post stylers, but here's a couple of examples. For this video, I'm going to be using Freehold by Kevin Murphy, which is a medium hold styling cream. I really like how slick this product is, and it really works well with my hair type and what I'm trying to achieve. With my style pretty much already set, what I do here to finish up is just evenly spread the product through my hair, sticking to the high part that's already been formed, which gives the style a longer hold and more finished look. All right, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be putting links to everything that I use today in the description down below so you guys can check it out if you want to. Don't forget to hit that like button and share with your friends. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. I am definitely trying to double my subscriber count by the end of the year. So I need your guys' help in doing that. So hit that button, share with your friends, and I will see you guys right here next time.